Pareto charts. So a Pareto chart is what we can use to distinguish the some important things out of some data and and disregard maybe some things that are just common amongst all the data. And we're going to do this by creating a combination of a bar graph and a line graph. And to do this, we're, let's, we need some data. So I'm going to draw up a table. And we're going to reference a fast food chain and some of the complaints that the fast food chain have gotten. So let's go, we're going to go the type of complaint over here and we're going to go the frequency of these complaints. So the first one is poor value for money. So let's go poor value and we'll just give this PV and we had there was 450 complaints about poor value for money. Let's go slow service. And one thing when we're looking at the data for the Pareto chart, we need them to be in descending order. So highest to largest. So we're going 220. Next one was poor customer service. Say poor service. PS 130. Incorrect order. We'll say IO uh, 105 and poor Wi Fi. PW and we had 95 here and this totaled to a thousand complaints. Now what we want to do is we want to construct a Pareto chart for this data and then maybe recommend what the fast food chain can do to improve to, to improve their performance. So the first thing we need to do is just find a percentage of the frequency over the total frequencies. So let's add another column for percentage. And let's find all of these percentages. So 450 over 1000 as a percentage is just going to be 45. 220 over 1000 times 100 is going to be 22. 130 over 1000 times 100 is going to be 13. 105 over 1,000 times 100 is 10.5 and 95 over 1,000 times 100 is 9.5 and this should total to 100%. Now we're going to get the cumulative percentage. So we'll call this C percentage the cumulative percentage. So the first one is just the first value for the percentage. Then the next one, we're just adding the next percentage to our total so far. So 22 plus 45 is going to give us 67. Our next one, we're going 67 plus the next one, which is 13, to give 80. 80 plus 10.5 for 90.5, and then 90.5 plus 9.5 is going to give us 100. And if you've done that correctly, the last one here should always be 100. And now we want to draw a Pareto chart. So we're going to draw... It's kind of set up here. Where on the left, we're going to have our frequency. On the right, we're going to have our cumulative percentage, and down on the x-axis, we're going to have each of our each of our complaints. So we've got five. So let's go with one, two, three, four, five things. So we're going to have poor value, 
slow service, poor service, incorrect order, and poor Wi-Fi. And it's important that they're going to be descending. So we've already accounted for that, having them in descending order here. So let's create a good scale for our frequency. So we know our highest value is 450, so maybe we'll put 500 and we can adjust our scale accordingly. So So 400, 300, 200, and 100 for our scale for the frequency. And let's line up, let's line up our top frequency represented by 100%. And we can adjust this accordingly. So 50% will be here, 75 and 25. And now the first thing, let's go ahead and just put our put our, our bar graph in for all the all the complaints. So for poor value, our frequency is 450. So we're expecting this to go up to 450 and creating a bar here going up to 450. Slow service is 220. So let's show that, something like that, 220 for slow service, poor service was 130, and go up to about there, incorrect order was 105, so slightly above the 100, poor Wi-Fi was 95, so slightly below the 100. And there's our bars to describe all the complaints in descending order. Now we need a line graph to describe our cumulative percentage. So we're starting off with 45% for our top one up here. So we're looking in this column here, starting off with 45. And all we do is it's going to be a bit below the 50%. We're going to get some somewhere about there. Up to slow service, we get to 67%, which might be about there. Then 80% for slow service or poor service we're up to. So a bit above the 75. 90.5% for incorrect order, about there, and then 100% by the time we get to poor Wi-Fi. And then we can go ahead and connect these up, and we've created our, our line graph. So now we've got our completed Pareto chart, and now we can analyze well, what the fast food company can do to increase, increase their performance. And we can see that poor service, poor value and slow service, sorry, poor value and slow service, these first two are actually taking up 67% of all their complaints. And you can see the, the line graph is kind of quite steeper here as it is to here. So this kind of tells us that there's a, a majority of the percentage is taken up here just in the steepness of the graph. So if the fast food company in, made be, better value and faster service, they would actually solve 60% of their problems. And that would be one way the fast food company could improve their performance after looking at this Pareto chart.
Thank you.